Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at some sword idiots on YouTube. So what's a sword idiot on or off YouTube? Well, if you're handling a sword and you're either stupid, unsafe or both, you're a sword idiot. Now it goes without saying, please do not try anything that you see in today's video because they're mostly unsafe acts. And also, the, the video is titled, Sword Idiots on YouTube. I don't know why you'd want to try anything from a video titled that. So we're going to look at three cases. Stupid and unsafe. Stupid, but safe. And not stupid, but unsafe. Three different categories of sword idiots. So for the first section, let's look at things that are stupid and unsafe. Now this first clip is from a HEMA group that's probably in Germany, given that the language is German spoken. And they're a HEMA group that practices sparring with real live swords that are sharp, made of metal, genuine actual swords. It already sounds stupid, already sounds unsafe, but let's have a look at it. Das ist krass. So vor Krankenwagen. Einmal 112 bitte. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know what more I can say to add to this. If you don't, if you look at this video and you don't think that it is stupid or unsafe, then there's a big problem. Like this is so clearly mind-bogglingly stupid and unsafe. They've got no protective gear at all. They're using sharp swords. They've clearly caused a lot of damage and harm to each other. And, you know, some of those things might cause permanent injury that won't heal. I mean, if you want to go to Valhalla that badly, then join the army, join the navy, take down some pirates holding cargo ships hostage instead. And if you die there, then you can go to Valhalla. Not like this. This, is, this could have gone wrong. In, this actually did go wrong, and it could have gone even worse wrong. Like, it is just so stupid. Please do not train with sharp weapons. Don't use a sharp weapon anywhere near another person and spar with some protective gear, please. Alright, let's look at another video that is both unsafe and stupid, but a little more subtly so. So this video then, there's a, a YouTuber who's gone and bought some Demon Slayer copies of the Swords of Demon Slayer um, of Amazon and he's cutting some targets with it. Seems innocent enough at first glance, but let's, let's break it down. All right, so first off, let's do this. Let's fuck those pranks. <laughs> Second thing, let's jibble those jibbles. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. That, that was harsh. That was blood art. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so let's just stop it there for a moment. He's using a Demon Slayer sword bought off Amazon. It's clearly a war hanger. War hangers are called war hangers for a reason. They belong on walls and they hang there. They should not be used for training. The reason why is because they're often made of stainless steel or they're made from untreated steel. So, you know, they can shatter basically. And if we have a look at his stand, then his cutting stand is literally a block of concrete. So he's striking against you know, there's a potential for him to hit that concrete and have these pretty fragile swords shatter and, you know, then you've got a hundred death missiles flying everywhere. It's just stupid and unsafe. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Blind shot. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh, at yeah. what cost? My vision and my blade. Okay, that was really stupid. So he got some soft drink in his eye. He said, blind shot and still swung at the target. You should never swing your sword if your vision is impaired. You know, he's got his friend on the other side of the target, holding the camera for him, doing him a favor. He could have hit his friend if his friend had come too close. He can't see what he's doing. And he even smashed his sword into the wall and you see that his sword has become quite bent and damaged. You know, you shouldn't be training in an enclosed space like that in the first place without first doing a safety check to make sure your sword can't hit anything. And especially not if you can't see. You know, he should have stopped, cleaned out his eye, and then continued training. Anyway, there's, there's more to this clip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we're paying. All right, here we go. Three, two, oh! Now let's go for the break. Three, two, one. 
Just don't scream. <laughs> no, no, keep going. Oh, just, no, no, oh, no, he got no. it. There we go. It's insane. Unfortunately, we did damage the swords quite a bit trying to be an Osuke. I gotta say, man, I mean, it's gonna be hard to top that as far as fun. <laughs> okay, so there he got his fragile swords as we've, as we've stated multiple times. These swords can break. They're not heat treated. They're not properly done like actual swords. And he's smashing two of them together. That is clearly unsafe, stupid. Do not do that at home, please. And you know, at the end, then he talks about how it was fun, and he's mangled his swords. And it, to him, these swords are toys. Swords are not toys. Swords are a tool. And like a good kitchen knife, a good chef's knife, you wouldn't give it to a kid to play around with as a toy. Tools deserve a basic level of respect. And you know, whether you choose to bow to them or whatever, that's up to you. But the basic level of respect, where you treat them as a dangerous tool that needs to be used safely, needs to be there when you use swords, when you use any weapons, even ones that aren't actual real weapons. I mean, his ones are not supposed to be used as weapons and he's using them as weapons, but you know, even if they, even if they weren't, there's still some basic decency that you should use when training with these, with these tools. All right, so for the next section, let's have a look at safe, but stupid. I've just invented the ultimate fighting technique. Nobody will ever beat this. Now, I love this clip. So it's Scaligrim. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's a very well-trained HEMA practitioner trying to be stupid. Which is why I've used this clip because you know he's he's trying to be stupid. He's asking for it, so let, let's give it to him. But the thing is that some people's genuine training looks a little bit like this. Maybe not to this degree, but it looks it looks rather dumb. And so I didn't want to use someone's clip where they're actually trying their hardest to make fun of them. You know that's not right. If you want to train like this and you want to do some weird spinny flippy stuff, then sure go ahead, as long as you do it safely like this, you know, no one should stop you from being a kid and enjoying your life, if that's what you want to do, go for it, you're doing it safely, you know, there are, if you put it up on the internet for everyone to judge, then okay, you can't complain if you get roasted, but if you're just doing it for the fun of it, sure, go ahead, you're a sword idiot, but it's safe, it's exactly how you should be a sword idiot. Now let's move on to the third section, which is not stupid, but unsafe. So here, Isao Machi, who is a Guinness World Record holder, very, very talented swordsman from Japan, is training with a sparring partner using real Japanese swords and testing how much damage historical techniques do on them. So you see there that you know they, they started out of measure, they started slow, then they worked their way up in speed and power, and you know it's still unsafe. There's still a lot of things that could have gone wrong. You see a chip of that sword fly off and become sparky, you know, it's still unsafe. But you know, there's a there's a reason for it, they're testing historical techniques. You're doing it safely, it's vastly different from the first video that I showed where they're just recklessly clashing with each other. Let's keep watching because I think they go to it where they um, practice these forms in measure. <laughs> Alright, so there then you see them practicing it in measure, 
and you see that the speed that they reach is notably slower than the first section where they were out of measure. And I think that's really important because you know it's it's for safety. And you see that they didn't reach the same speed that they reached in the first section when they were out of measure. Um, Isao Machi says stop when he's starting to feel uncomfortable, and that's pretty important. You know, it's not stupid. It is unsafe, but there's some safety measures around it. Now. Had I the same amount of training as Isao Machi and his sparring partner, would I want to do that? Still no. You know, I, I, still, I still just want to do that. I think I could go my whole life not having tried using historical techniques in this way. I think it's, it's cool that someone's doing it. Do I want to be the one to do it? Probably not. So there you have it, some sword idiots on YouTube. Now if you want to see more sword idiots on YouTube, Go down to the comment sections below, type your full name, your credit card number, and there's three pesky numbers on the back, and watch as YouTube automatically censors personal information. Alright, please do not do that. YouTube does not censor personal information, and just don't fall for a scam like that. But who's to say that we aren't all sort of idiots anyway? YouTuber Tom Scott likes to say that everyone draws the line just under whatever they're doing. So who's to say that what I'm doing isn't unsafe, it isn't stupid. In Japan, and the idea of me using a sharp sword, cutting targets without the direct supervision of a senior instructor and without me being a fifth dan in some sort of, you know, sword martial art is mind-bogglingly stupid. I am the sword idiot to them. So, you know, everyone draws the line just under what they do. Are we sword idiots? Maybe, maybe not. Hope you liked that, and with that, I'll see you next time.